In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove sibilance from your audio in Audacity without any extra plugins. Hello everyone, I am Budget Recording, and on this channel I try and help make your video look better and audio sound better in videos just like these. As I just mentioned, I'm going to help you remove sibilance. Sibilance is the harsh S sound that you can get when you record any audio and this will work for any incredibly annoying frequency since I'm not using any extra plugins I'm just emulating the plugin what you need is audacity obviously uh, you need your audio she sells seashells by the seashore and that's about it so what you first want to do is duplicate the speech so go double click it and control C or command C if you're on a Mac and then go down to the bottom, Control V, Command V, either one. And so now you've got two identical tracks. I, just to make it easier, I'm going to rename this one to Sibilance. And so on the speech track, which is your original track, go into Effect and then Filter Curve. And what you will want to do is a curve just like this, somewhere between 5k or 5,000 hertz and 10,000 hertz. Uh, mine's like right at 5,000 to like just over 9,000, it looks like. And then uh, just bring the middle part all the way down to 120. This should remove all the sibilance that you would hear. So when I hit OK, it'll drop the level of the speech. Mute this. And listen. She sells seashells by the seashore. It sounds kind of muffled, but that's kind of what should happen since you're removing all the high frequencies. On the sibilance track, go into effect and then another filter curve right here. And what you want to do with this one is the exact opposite. Well, not quite the exact opposite because inverting it doesn't quite work. Uh, but you want to bring everything down that was at 0 dB um, on the last curve and then bring everything up those at negative 120 dB. And so just around there works perfectly fine. And then hit OK. So now that's all the S sound. And when you go back into both of these, she sells seashells by the seashore. It sounds about like the original. On the sibilance track, now you are going to go into effect and then a compressor. I would recommend something like this, but the most important part is to make sure that you don't have this box checked. If you have this box checked, it's going to be a lot more difficult to make it work. Uh, so my threshold set to negative 30 dB, noise floor negative 40, I don't think that really matters for this, and ratio 7.1 to 1, you just want a high ratio for this, that'll uh, make it the most obvious, and then hit OK, it should drop the track level a ton. She sells seashells by the seashore. If you want even less sibilance, you could add another compressor, but what I re would recommend is just going into the gain section and dropping it. She sells seashells by the seashore. You can do something like that. So the reason this works is because a compressor uh, shrinks the dynamic range, so the louds get quieter and the quiet parts get louder. And since we don't, we didn't have that box checked, uh, we never brought everything back up, so we were just making things quieter. And that is exactly what a de-esser plugin does. It uh, does the compression just to the high frequency, which is what we did with the filter curves. We uh, brought up, we made this just uh, high frequencies. And then we made, and then we compressed it and combined it back with the original. So we are doing the exact same as what the plugin would do except we've got a little more control over it just because we're doing it our own way. I hope that video helped, and I also want to thank Patrice Laborda. I hope I pronounced her name right, um, but they are the person that recommended or suggested this video to me, uh, and I hope 
it helped you figure out the sibilance that you were hearing in your track. Uh, if you have any other ideas, make sure you leave them down the dis in the comment section. And I will also link to Patrice Laborda's channel on in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.